Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, as you guys can tell by the title and what you guys are seeing right now. So I finally decided to go back to the gym after not going for like over a month. And this was kind of a tough session um, because I, like I said, I haven't gone to the gym in a long time. So I came in here with a mindset of it's not going to be perfect and I'm not going to stress myself out. So as you guys saw in the beginning, I did my little stretches um, just to kind of like, you know, stretch myself out. And then I did the Stairmaster for about, I think, seven minutes. I honestly hate the Stairmaster, to be honest, because it just tires me out. And it feels like cardio. And I am not in the mood for cardio lately just because I'm not trying to lose weight. But... It was kind of intense. I usually try not to go over 10 minutes unless I'm feeling really motivated. But here I am just, you know, it's sped up. I was not going this fast. Um, and lately, I feel like everybody is like competing in the gym to try to one up each other on who's a better gym person or gym goer than the other. And i'm here to tell you it's not that serious honestly everybody has their own reasons for going to the gym and today like i said it was just not like my best gym workout and you guys will see i honestly when i go to the gym sometimes i don't even know what i'm doing i don't know what machines does what i have to like rely on looking at the little stickers they put in the back <laughs> sometimes it like tells you what to do and like what muscle group it's working so don't feel ashamed if you have to take a step back and google some workouts because literally that's all i do when i go i don't really plan any workouts i just go and google or save like a whole bunch of tiktok videos that i'm gonna try when i go to the gym next and that's literally what i did today um i'm not a trainer and i don't try to be a trainer so when i go i just like to have fun i don't want to stress myself because the gym is supposed to be fun for me and if i start overthinking it and overdoing things then i don't want to come back so i just try and go and do the simplest thing that I could do or whatever I found that I'm like okay I want to try this workout so today was more of a leg day uh, in arms but here I was doing this whatever you call this squats <laughs> um, and I try to go up the weight so I go I start off light and then if I feel like okay it's too easy then I go um, with a heavier set I don't know if I'll keep talking but I'll play some music uh, and some parts and then I'll come back and talk Also, I well, just want to say I had the gym to myself today and it was wonderful because I don't really like working out. I Okay, let me rephrase that. I don't really like going to the gym when there's so many people in there because then you have to fight over machines or whatever. And this was my apartment gym, which was perfect because usually there's not a lot of people there. But today I was lucky. No one was there the whole time I was um, working out and I got to record and you guys are watching here. Look, I was exhausted. I hate this arm. Thing, whatever you call this I was I wish you guys saw the top part but I didn't realize it wasn't recording the full video but um, I don't really like that workout but I have to do it because it helps my back so yeah y'all I have no idea what I was doing here I see some girls on TikTok do this or men <laughs> do this workout and I thought I was doing something but I don't know if I was doing something because I'm looking at it now I'm like I don't know what I was doing but I think it was working on my arms and at one point I was feeling it like in my abs or my belly so yeah I just had no idea what I was doing I was just following some workouts I saw so yeah you know it was a workout and I felt it I definitely felt it when I got home but um it's okay it's okay to not know what you're doing when you're in the gym because you don't have to know what you're doing just do it 
because if you start talk, thinking that you don't know what you're doing, you don't want to go to the gym, you're not going to go. And at least I'm here and I'm doing something. One tip I'll give you is if you are new to fitness or going to the gym, um, you can always find the best time that no one is at the gym or not a lot of people and go at that time and you can write a list of different workouts or you can just go in and like I said earlier um, save some videos on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube and when you're in the gym just literally open your phone and look at the fitness or the workouts that you saved and just follow along what they're doing um, on each machine so yeah that's literally what I do if I don't know what I'm doing or if I don't know what I want to do when I go to the gym um, I don't try to like plan it like how some people write it down um, you can definitely do that but for me I feel like it doesn't really help me because I have to like see the workout so instead of like just writing the workout because I don't really know the workout names honestly like I just know what you're supposed to do and what it looks like so I've been trying to do a pull-up for months now I feel like it's been a long time that I've been trying and I'm still not successful at it and you know what it's okay because I'm not consistent at the gym so I'm not gonna beat myself up about not being able to do it but I really tried here and I just was like eh, nah not today mm -mm. So today I decided to do um, a little bit of ab workouts as well and um, I wanted to implement these resistant bands thingies or whatever you call it. Um, so yeah, it was kind of hard to do because I've never actually done this before. I just wanted to try it. I saw a girl do it and I was like, oh, that looks like fun. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't fun, but it's cool to try new things. Um, especially when you're not like a real fitness guru <laughs> so yeah um i did this like i was in the gym for a total of like i think 74 minutes or something like that like a little over an hour and i really did enjoy it and i always have my music on um always have my music playing and i told you guys i had the gym to myself so it was just great. I didn't have to use my AirPods. I can just like play my music out loud and nobody will feel offended. Um, because you know, you gotta respect people and you know, make sure people are comfortable too sometimes. So I was happy that I can play music out loud. And um, I wanna say also like, if you don't know how to use a machine, like I said earlier, and you're in a real big gym and stuff like that because I used to go to Planet Fitness at one point um, just don't be afraid to ask people who actually work at the gym for help if you don't know how to use something because I don't want you to end up hurting yourself trying to use something that you don't know um, out of shame or out of feeling like somebody's gonna like laugh at you for asking for help so definitely um, ask people even people who are working out sometimes if they don't look like you know some people just look like they want to just work out leave them alone but if someone looks friendly you can always ask for help um, and then another thing is like start you can start your workouts with cardio sometimes it helps to I mean first of all it helps to warm you up but also while you're on the treadmill or Stairmaster or whatever the case may be you are scoping out what machines are available and this is if you go to a big gym um, make sure um, you can spot what machines are taken ahead of time that way as soon as you're done you know exactly where to go to start your workout so you're not just standing there looking around and if you are standing there looking around that is also okay if you don't want to do cardio um, the other thing like I said music helps um, or you can put a podcast sometimes if I'm in the mood I'll have like my favorite podcast playing in my ears and just listen to some motivation talks motivation speeches or motivation podcasts and that usually helps me feel better too. feel like you know I'm confident I belong here and it's not just for people who look fit it's for people who 
want to work out anybody who looks whatever body type you have um, whatever strength you have and you guys can see here like this is not a full-on uh, push-up and I was struggling but it is okay okay it is okay uh, you have just as much of a right to be there as anybody else so um, and always remember everyone is focused on themselves and no one is judging you no one is watching you no matter how much you think like nobody actually cares that you're there in the gym so um, and that is to be positive about it not trying to be negative or mean about it but literally nobody cares if you have that mindset like it took me a while to start having that mindset and I still struggle to this day I'm very self self aware of like what's around me and who's doing what and who's watching what uh, and sometimes I do feel like you know you kind of just hyper focus on yourself and you feel like everybody's like paying attention to you and like not to like be all like oh yeah everybody's watching me but it does feel like that sometimes and I have to keep telling myself you know nobody cares nobody is focused on me nobody is watching me nobody gives a crap uh -huh. and no one is definitely judging you uh, concentrate on yourself and whatever motive, motive uh, brought you to that gym or whatever motive whatever is motivating you to be there you belong to be there just as much as anybody else so but also gym intimidation is entirely valid but just remember you belong there just as much as anybody else in that gym and you have a right to be there and you have a right to build the body that you want I will talk to you guys later enjoy the rest of the video bye